In today's video, I'm going to give you a brief demonstration and overview and talk about some of the quirks regarding phase one of OCP. OCP standing for Open Connected Pinball. On the Legends Pinball Machine, you can now, thanks to HDMI support as well as OTG support, connect to PC and play things like future pinball and visual pinball games. First things first though, you will have to pick up a couple of accessories to get everything up and running as far as communicating from your PC to the Legends Pinball Machine. Namely, you'll need an HDMI 2EDP LCD controller board. They're available on Amazon and you'll also need a power adapter to power up that LCD controller board. Again, also available on Amazon. I'll put product links down in the video description box below. However, one caveat about this whole thing is you do have to unplug the existing backbox connection and then hook up this controller board every time you want to play these games from your PC. So if that's not something you feel comfortable with or that's not something you just want to do, you want to be able to you know, toggle back and forth without having to unplug and unhook wires every single time, definitely wait because later on there is talk about having a dedicated switcher board being back there. That way without having to unhook everything every single time you want to play it, you can simply push a button and toggle back and forth between the stock built-in games and the stock back box display and as well as your input connection for your HDMI to EDP controller board. So if all that sounds crazy to you, don't worry. Let me walk you through how you can set up your HDMI to EDP controller board first and foremost, and how easy it is to plug into the back of the back box. But again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, I highly recommend you just wait it out because phase two and phase three and all the future phases will likely iron out this process and make it so much easier and user friendly. All right, when you get your HDMI to EDP LCD controller board, it's gonna come in a few parts and pieces. It's very easy to put together. That plugs in there. And then now you've got your ribbon cable with your EDP end. What you're gonna to wanna to do, take the blue end, flip this tab up with your fingernail, Put the blue end in there firmly, clip the claps down, put your power in right here, and this one is good to go into the back of the monitor. All right, now that we've got our controller board put together, set it aside here, we now need to disassemble the existing connection on the back monitor. So we're gonna pull these little clasps down on the side, takes that off, and now we need to expose the connection on the back of the monitor, peel this tape back, be very gentle here, and then now we have the connection there. And I'm going to gently remove this and I'll set it aside because I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to tape it on the back box. And then now bring our controller board back into the picture. I'm going to take the connection, fit it right back in there. Fit snug, tape it back on. And then we are good to go. Now all I need to do is connect my HDMI input from my computer and then power it up and we are ready to go. All right, so right now I've got two HDMI connections, one into the controller board there to convert the signal for the second back box. And then I've got one plugged in here in the front. The way you get to your dual HDMI output from your PC, there's a million different ways to do that. Obviously every configuration is gonna be slightly different, but once you've got those two HDMI, one's gonna go here in the front, one's gonna go there in the back in that controller board. You'll also need a USB A to A connection cable for your OTG support. You're gonna plug it here in this far right one. So not the blue one, but the normal 2.0 port. You're gonna plug that in there. Now you're gonna go over to here. You're gonna find your HDMI setting over here in the settings menu. Going to select it. It's gonna bring up the screen. You're going to change the control mode from APL over to OTG. Sorry, I'm doing this one-handed. OTG, good. You wanna rotate your main display 90 degrees and you're gonna hit okay. Should see my PC, there we go. Now we have the PC. Now for the inputs, you will need Joy to Key running. It's not my favorite program by any means, but there are a couple of config files out there that I'll put in the video description box as well that are already pre-made thanks to the kind folks out there. These all work, as you can see here, I'll push the buttons, you get some signal there. That way it knows how to accept the built-in buttons and controls on the Legends Pinball. Plunger does not work at this time. You'll have to use the down arrow, but other than that, your flippers, your buttons, everything works like that, uh, your nudge. So it's a really good experience overall. And of course, there are a few little preferences you'll wanna make sure, and VPX specifically, you'll have to go to your video graphics options, pull that up, make sure everything is 1920 by 1080p, Make sure you've checked use always full screen backdrop settings on VPX. For future pinball, you'll just want to make sure your play field is rotated 270 degrees. But that is all good. We'll hit play and everything should work hunky-dory. 
we should see Adam's family on both screens. And there we have it. We've already got Adam's family there on the background. And lo and behold, let's go ahead and enter in some credits. All right, and we should be good to start. Again, like I said, plunger doesn't work. Down arrow does. Get my flippers. And now we'll just, uh, we'll check out some gameplay. Now this is not meant to be a tutorial as far as how to set up future pinball and VPX or anything like that. There's a million different resources and videos already out there on YouTube for that. This is going forward with the assumption that you already have a working VPX or future pinball set up on your computer. And this is really just the overview and the high level, you know, viewpoint of how to get it running and everything connected on your Legends pinball machine. And as I alluded to earlier, yeah, if you're a new user or somebody that's not technically proficient, you'll probably want to wait until this gets a little more ironed out and a little more easier because there is a lot of technical things going on as far as connections and things like that that may scare most people away. However, this early on in the life cycle for the Legends Pinball Machine, the fact that we've already got the built-in controls working on Future Pinball and Virtual Pinball, thanks to the great help of the community out there, is absolutely fantastic in my opinion, and I'm excited to see what the future holds. Guys, let me know down in the comments your favorite pinball games, pinball games you want to see being played on this machine. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.